Hi, my name is Amy Howard. I'm going to apply a stencil, which this particular piece has already been done. This is an adhesive stencil, so it allows me to be able to just stick it on there. A lot of people call these kiss cut stencils. You can use different little machines that you have to be able to make any design you want. Today I'm working with a damask design that we've put on top of my sample fabric. Remember that we're working in reverse. So we're working on the back of the mirror. We stripped the back off. We've actually antiqued it from the back, but you get to see all of your beauty from the front. That's what's going to create the antique mirror. So, all right, now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna blot it again and I'm gonna wait for about 20 or 30 minutes to allow it to be able to air dry. So in this video, I'm using one of our hog hair brushes. You can use a china bristle, you can use a synthetic brush, you can also spray this on. So you wanna make sure that you cut it about 20% with water, throw it in your airless sprayer and spray it. So you'll notice as I'm applying this, I'm kinda of doing it in some cross hatching. I don't really want to be showing the size of the tool that I'm using, so I'm actually going in different directions. Now you can also paint with the grain. And I love the fact too, that especially with our black one-step paint, it's a true black, it's really beautiful, it's gonna look great on these kitchen cabinets, but I also love the fact that it's gonna dry in about 20 to 30 minutes. So as I'm working on my kitchen, I can literally finish today. I'm gonna distribute it just a little bit because it actually will help with part of the finish and the color and making it look old into the black. And I love how that does in my finish. A lot of people are really surprised how generous I am with it, especially when I'm working on a carved surface. I use a lot. Now, a lot of people will say, can I reuse this? If you want to dust it off to be able to put it in a little container or put it back in the jar, absolutely. So again, I'm using a lint-free rag. I want, you'll see how I've got a large rag, it's not a small piece, because as I'm buffing it, I wanna make sure that my fingers don't show through. So buffing like you would a shoe, think about that motion of a hit drag buffing, that's how I'm going to buff my cabinet. So it has a multitude of uses. I can use it as backsplashes in a kitchen. I can use it on walls. I can use it on furniture. It's just amazing. Here's a great example of beautiful antique to mercury mirror. You see how easy it is. Now go enjoy the bragging rights. So after I've allowed my wax to dry for about an hour, I've buffed it with my lint rag, and I see the beautiful patina to it. That it I love the depth of just kind of that beautiful chalky dead finish with just a little bit of greening. Remember, no two of these will be alike. This is a process that's taking place as you're doing it. So enjoy the fact that it's a one of a kind. It's something that you've done and you can enjoy the bragging rights.